A new brand for Little Treasury, Fortis, founded in 1912 by Walter Vogt, has a rich history marked by significant milestones. In 1926, Vogt collaborated with John Harwood to produce the world's first automatic wristwatch in series. The company, still based in its original 1912 building, continued to innovate. In 1940, Fortis introduced the Fortissimo, its first water-resistant watch. The year 1952 saw the creation of the robust Fortis Marine Master, and in 1956, the Fortis Manager became the first automatic Fortis watch with a mechanical alarm. 1962 marked Fortis's entry into space watches as Walter Vogt's son, Rolf, equipped NASA astronauts with the Spacematic AR. In 1967, Fortis produced the Flipper, the world's first colorful plastic watch, selling over a million units rapidly and inspiring the creation of Swatch in the 80s. The 1987 Flieger defined pilot watches with its distinctive steel, green, and orange characteristics. Fortis further solidified its space legacy in 1994 when the official cosmonauts chronograph performed a mission in open space. As of 2021, Fortis proudly manufactures its stainless steel watch cases from recycled steel, redefining the industry with the first tool watch made of recycled materials. The company remains an independent, family-owned business, resilient and forward-looking, anticipating a future filled with exciting firsts. Today we are reviewing the Fortis Marine Master M40 Rockstone Gray to kick off the brand, and this one is all about taking a hike with it in the rocky wilderness. But will its unique case and rocky gray tone capture the emotion of being in the wilderness for you? Or will it just look like another tool watch that you will pass over? Let's find out. What's up everyone, it's Chris with the Little Treasury Channel. Welcome back. This is where we bring you original and in-depth watch content at least once per week. If you haven't already, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell to be alerted as soon as we upload. I'm from Little Treasury Jewelers, which is located in Gambrels, Maryland. And it's where you go when you're in the know. As always, the watches that I review are for sale and can be purchased, so please see the description below to contact us. If you're just joining us now, I'll go over the watch's detailed measurements and features, and then I'll offer my personal opinion at the end. In our last video, I reviewed the G-Shock MTG City Light limited edition and found it to be a really fun and exciting timepiece that could really fit into anyone's collection from someone who has high-end watches and wants something fun to beat on or just wear casually to a strictly G-Shock collector who needs all of the limited editions. Rich check time, I have my German watch on today which is the Müller Glasuta Promare Go. I love the subtle detail on the dial that looks so simple but when paid attention to really you'll notice many different shades of blue including a blue date wheel. I really like this one and I wear it all the time and I take it absolutely every time I travel. Now tell me which watch you're wearing while you're watching the video and make sure to tell me why. Now let's get on to the features. The Fortis Marine Master M40 has a 39.2 millimeter case width, a 12.3 millimeter thickness, a 42.9 millimeter lug to lug, a 20.9 millimeter lug width, a 32 millimeter crystal diameter, and it weighs in at 106.47 grams. The case is made out of recycled steel, is cushion shaped, and is matte finished on the top with more matte finish on the sides. You have flathead screws at the end of each lug, which are for removing the strap. A screw down crown with the Fortis crown logo on top can be found at the three position with a black stainless steel piece connecting it to the case. It is between two rectangular crown protectors. The sapphire crystal sits slightly above the bezel, which should help prevent scratches. The bezel is in stainless steel and has a black stainless steel grip around it, which is called the gear bezel. Now let's give it a click test. This bezel has an excellent crispy feel and a satisfying sound, so I will definitely say that the bezel on this piece is a high point. The dial is in a rockstone gray tone with a rounded square motif. We have a rockstone gray chapter ring with a white minute grade and white ring separating it from the rest of the dial. Fortis and the Fortis crown logo can be found at the top middle portion in white. The markers are rectangular with a dual marker at the 12th position. The hour and minute hands are silver tone and are pencil style with a lollipop style second hand also in silver tone. The date window can be found at the three position and has a white background and black numerals and no frame. 
Marine Master M40 Performance 300M-1000 feet can be found at the lower middle portion in white. The loom is a lot of fun on this piece and can be found on the pip of the bezel, the chapter ring, and on all dial markers and hands. They use Super Luminova X1. The case back is closed and has a compass rose in the center. The movement is the UW30 Performance, which is robust, anti-magnetic, and has a gilt Glucidur balance wheel for outstanding precision. It is chronometer certified and has a 38-hour power reserve. It is based on the Salita SW200-1. The strap is in rockstone gray and has a larger version of the rounded square motif from the dial on it. And because the strap is supposed to connect you to nature, life, and the horizon, Fortis calls this the horizon strap. It has a pin buckle with the Fortis crown at the tip. The Fortis Marine Master M40 Rockstone Gray is 300 meter water resistant, is not a limited edition, and is ready to go on a wildlife adventure with you for $3,100. Now for my personal opinion. So I was very surprised by how much I like this piece, honestly. The case size is really appropriate for this design, and you would think that it would be bigger from the pictures, but it isn't. It looks great on my six and a half inch wrist and wears very comfortably, especially with the Rockstone gray rubber strap. I like how we are looking at a very modern design and still feels at home out in the wilderness. And the subtle details like the black steel area around the bezel and crown add to the fun of this. The bezel is really a high point of this piece and it feels great to play with. Although it does have a bit of play in it, but is still very satisfying. The loom is also a high point here, because that ring around the dial just makes it look so special and different from other timepieces. The Horizon strap is also very comfortable and looks great. However, it is nothing groundbreaking like the description might sound like. The movement is good, but I would like to see companies stop using these 38 hour power reserve Salita bases and at least modify them to have a 55 or 70 hour. It is a chronometer though, so that is always a plus. I'll go ahead and recommend this piece for anyone who wants a watch that will be worn all the time on adventures or even dressed casually because this one will be a fantastic companion. Thanks for watching today, everyone. I really hope that you enjoyed the video. And of course, if you did, please make sure to hit that subscribe button, give this video a like and share with all of your friends and your family members too. I look forward to seeing you next video.